Just a quick one today, just got the uh, Falcon Creality honeycomb metal panel plate insert for the Falcon A1 laser. So let's get out of the box, check it out and see how well it fits. Fairly well packed. We've got some rubberized footings with adhesive on the back. And our honeycomb plate is uh, basically a riveted channel. We have, what do we got? I think it's 15 mil width. 460 by 345 millimeters. 15 millimeters depth, uh, 460 by 345. Let's see if it fits in or how well does it fit in and how much clearance do we have for our materials. All right, so I've gone ahead and put the rubber footings on, as you can see there, all the way around. Now, people have said that this doesn't allow material to be put in or only certain heights of material to be put in because there's not enough clearance with the laser head itself. So we'll adjust it. A little bit more okay that slides in so that fits in there nicely now let's see how much play we've got with the material let's have a look so we've got a honeycomb plate in there we're going to put our gauge in to measure our height and clearance we'll go for the highest one we seem to be able to fit oh no it doesn't fit now this is where they've said that it doesn't adjust now from what i can see the cable is not set properly reset that under your screws lift it up it's a bit stuck there's a cable in the middle there it needs to be moved around and what do you know just give that a bit more of a give what have we got now now it's fully raised and we wow look at that that has not only cleared the 1.3 that will clear six let's get the vernier out and have a look clearly we can put three mil board in there let's get another three mil board in there that's now six mil clearance nine mil clearance 12 mil clearance 15 mil clearance 18 mil clearance 21 mil of clearance with about two mils of clearance to go. So there you go, 21 millimeters of clearance with a millimeter to go. Those that doubt, stick around and find out. Thank you, Creality Honeycomb Plate. You just need to adjust the head properly, uh, re-rate your cables appropriately, and you'll get the full height of the maximum engraving and cutting of the Falcon A1, or I suppose any other printer for that matter when it's set up correctly. Chris Creations, thanks for watching.